From the manufacturer that brought you rides that break down all the time comes another ride that'll break down all the time. Volcano, the blast coaster. Because, you know, Volcano just wasn't enough. We gotta clarify what kind of coaster it is. Next thing you know, they'll be doing Intimidator 305, the Giga Coaster. Hurler, the Sucky Coaster. Or Batman, the... the ride. You loved how the park had the brilliant idea of theming a ride to fiery destruction. Now watch as they keep the theme moving along by installing a coaster themed to the snow right next to it. Like, really? It was hard enough to convince me that there were NASCAR drivers, aliens, and movie backlots in Africa. But now there's avalanches? That must be one heck of a safari. You've ridden coasters by Inamin that have a pretty good capacity. Now walk up to a coaster that consistently has a line that you have absolutely no desire to wade in. And as if the two hour wait wasn't bad enough, now we gotta watch the same singing mushroom shuffle game over and over again on Cedar Fair's fun TVs. Thanks, King's Dominion. To distract you from the annoying music videos they keep playing in the queue, take note of the theming around the Volcano Mountain, like broken statues, dirt, broken vases, bones, stones, and this brand new Safford Jeep with a two inch lift. Now, come on, Six Flags. Er, <laughs> sorry, Cedar Fair. You can do better than that. But it's not terrible theming, it'll probably impress someone who hasn't been to a Disney theme park, which has got to be like, what, 12% of the population? So they got that going for them. Uh, that theming's only there because the Haunted River and Smurf Mountain used to be in the same location. So you're telling me it's only there because King's Dominion didn't feel like taking it out? Um, yeah. Hmm. Good job, Paramount. Begin moving forward and cross over what used to be the old loading station, which is now just empty and accomplishes nothing. Start off your ride with an amazing launch and hard bank turn, which will thrust you straight up into the mouth of the volcano. And just when you thought you were going to emerge out at the top, start to fall backwards and fly straight back into the launch track. Congratulations! You just rolled back. So I'm sitting in the front row seat of Volcano, and we just experienced a rollback. What's up, guys? I'm sitting here on Volcano. Guess what? We rolled back again. If you oh, look, I'm Coaster Studios, and I get rollbacks on Volcano all the time. Ha ha ha. Get removed from the ride and hop back in line and try again. You loved how in the promos, Volcano shoots out fire. Now be disappointed when Volcano doesn't actually send out any fire at all. Hooray for cool effects that never work. Well, it's a good thing it doesn't send out fire. Think of all that smoke that could be poking a hole in our ozone layer. You love the intensity of the first half of the ride. Now just kind of meander around in the second half, every once in a while going through a random inversion or turn. And just when the ride gets going, dive back into the artificial mountain and slow to an abrupt stop. Why did they stop there right there? That's when it was just starting to get good. I couldn't have decided if I liked it or not. The first half was awesome, but the second half was kind of eh. I mean, really, what were they thinking with an idea this awesome they could have made the ride so much better than it actually is? What happened? Yeah? Uh-huh. No, no, no. I have the schematics with me right now. Yep, for the full coaster. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It looks pretty sweet. I mean, we're talking 100 mile per hour launch, top hat, vertical drop, dive loop, two minute ride experience. It is nice. Yeah. You, you want to see them right now? Uh, yeah, no problem. Give me 10 minutes. I'll be right there. Uh... Ah, uh, shoot. Since when did it start snowing? Jeez. Oh, no! Volcano, how do you spell that? 
and goes up the mountain and then it goes to the left or to the right, can't remember, da da da, and then it goes over here, uh, here, and then it stops there. Eh, it's not too bad. She won't notice the difference. Ugh, why are people so stupid? <laughs> Pointy Mountain, the accelerated vehicle that travels on suspended track. Wait in line for it now at King's Dominion.